Now on to Common Sense Investing with Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of WMG. Craig, the Fed begins its two-day meeting today. What do investors need to know? Well, Angela, investing in U.S. markets has been the only game in town for as long as anyone can remember. However, we now have easing price pressures in the United States. Thank heavens, the inflation's coming down. And that means we might just be on the cusp with that cooling inflation data of moving the needle. Moving the needle, I mean the Federal Reserve might just be at the end of their rate hikes after one additional quarter point, which the market has digested here in the future. You tend to have an optimistic view about the market and the economy. Tell us why you see an upside to the US dollar going down. Well, if the U.S. is in fact on the cusp of being finished with these interest rate hikes while other countries are continuing to raise their rates abroad, then we're likely going to see the U.S. dollar begin to weaken. And by the way, it already is doing that. And historically, a weaker dollar, it's been good news both for equity markets and commodity prices. And when we look at the most common benchmark, the S&P 500, almost 40 percent of the sales for companies in the S&P 500 are abroad. And when the dollar weakens, international revenues get converted back into more U.S. dollars, boosting overall profitability. Specifically, technology has been on a tear. But technology, the largest sector in the S&P, more than 58% of technology revenues come from overseas. So what that's going to do is it's going to continue to create what I call a tailwind for tech stocks relative to their earnings, courtesy of the positive currency conversion. International stocks, well, they become more attractive when the dollar weakens. For example, you know, in addition to a U.S. investor buying a foreign stock, a U.S. investor is also buying the foreign currency needed to purchase those shares. So if the foreign currency appreciates because the dollar declines, that's going to give the U.S. a boost when investing in foreign stocks. So here's the bottom line, Angela, and everyone who's watching. Investors need to really take a look and pause and go back and do a geography lesson. Because in the second half of 2023, I don't think people should be solely focused just on U.S. investments. Adding a dose of what I call MSCI EFI, Europe and Far East, based on some downward momentum in the dollar. Relatively cheap valuations compared to the S&P 500 and the potential for an earnings recovery ahead overseas. That all makes an allocation to foreign investments might just be an integral approach in the second half of 2023. I'm Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. We exist to help people get retired and stay retired. If you'd like to learn more, you can. Check out our website, investwithwmg.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.